Hey, my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. Today I'm going to teach you how to make 3D flowers using Robin's Nest products. So come on down to my studio and let's play. Okay, we're down here at my workshop and first thing you need to do is make the beautiful stamens that go in the middle of a flower. And I did these with my favorite things in the world, is dewdrops. I actually use the teardrops for most of mine, but you definitely could use the, tear, the dewdrops to do the same technique. Real simply, I took a piece of craft flyer and scissors, and I cut pretty long size um, pieces, about, I don't know, five, six inches. And the reason I made them a little longer is because it gives me wor more to work with later, depending on what type of technique I plan on doing with them. So it depends, um, all depending on you on which, how long you want this to be. Then you need a very good quick grabbing glue. I am using one from Beacon, and this is called Quick Grip. It's an all purpose adhesive. And you need two dewdrops and or teardrops, whichever one you want to use. So I'm just going to grab two of them out of here real quick. Um, I do suggest that they are the same color, but that doesn't mean anything. You can have them two different colors. They do not have to be the same color. Um, and you probably could do this with one. I just think it gives a little more dimension with uh, two over one. So let me get all this distraction out of the way and go directly to just the dew drops. So again, using the quick grab, I put a little bit of quick grab on the back of one of the um, teardrops that I'm using here. And then I take my craft wire, put it on just the end of the craft wire, add the second one on top, so that you're sandwiching, sandwiching the wire in between the two dew drops or tear drops, depending on what you're using. Now you're going to have to let this sit to the side and dry for a few minutes. Even though it's quick grabbing, it does take a little while to dry. So that's going to dry. Put that to the side. And of course I have made a bunch of them. I do this in front of the TV. I'm a TV girl. Okay, the next thing you need to do and this is the easy part, is find some beautiful papers. And I am using all papers from the Robin's Nest. I just love their papers and they're just absolutely beautiful. Have just a touch of glitter on them. Really pretty for making flowers. The most important part, even though they have a great selection of beautiful papers, you need to find ones that are double sided. Okay, that's very important. So I have picked out a few different papers and then I took the Tim Holtz's Tattered Flowers die, and I cut three of the largest flowers out. You need three of them, okay? We have three there to make our three-dimensional flower. And this is what we're going to end up with, is a three-dimensional flower with the steam in, in the center. Okay, first one. First one you wanna take and you want to cut in between two petals to the center and stop. So you're not cutting all the way through, you're just cutting through to the center. The one on the um, right side, I cut the petal kind of in half. Okay, so you kind of have a flower, it looks like that. Put that one to the side. Grab your next one. So remember we needed three. This one you're going to again cut to the center but you're going to cut one petal completely off. So we have that. See that? Okay, put that one to the side. The third and final flower, you're going to cut to the center, but you're going to cut two petals off on this one. So you have something that looks like that. Okay. Now you want to keep this one. Do not throw this one away. We're going to start from 
the smallest, which is the two, and your steamen, whichever you decide to use. I want to use this kind of, oh, let me use this green. I think the green will be pretty in there, yeah. Now you can use one or two on this point. It's really up to you. I will show you with two. You also need, um, the Tim Holtz uh, tiny attacher works the best for this technique, but you could use glue. You're just gonna be holding it for a long, little longer. This works instantly for me. That's why I like it. The very first one, that's the two petal one. You gotta decide what you want to be showing. Do you want this side to be showing in your flower or do you want this? I want this, so I'm gonna face it up. And I'm gonna curl it. You're gonna see how I'm just gonna wrap it around so that it comes back on each other. So it becomes a kind of um, a tube, I guess is a good word for it. See that? At this point, I take my petals and I turn them down. See that? So now I have some petals that are turning down like that. Take that from the side. At this point, I take my dew drops and I put them down the center of that flower. Okay, so we got that going right there. See that? Now, uh, this is a little tricky, but once you've done a few of them, you'll get a little better at it. You want to take your little stapler and you want to staple right there. So you're kind of stapling it all together. And you're not gonna see that staple, so don't worry. You don't even have to worry about it being pretty at this point. Okay, so now I have something that looks like that. Usually at this point also, I will take, if I'm using two of them, and I'll just twist them together just so that they become one and I'm not working with two wires. It's just kind of a preference thing. It's not, not something you have to do. Okay, put that one to the side. So you're pulling out your next one. And that's the one with <clears throat> that you cut the two out of. Okay? This, I bet you're kind of already figuring out what we're going to do. We're going to take this one and we're going to put it on top of that one. See that? And then take your stapler and get it down in there and staple. Now, you have two, so you have something that looks like that. At this point, you need to grab your scissors and you need to cut this little point off at the end. And you'll understand why in a minute. So it gives me kind of a hole right there. And again, I'm going to take my petals and turn them down. Now I'm gonna take this guy and it's gonna go into that hole. But you need to adhere it. So I take my quick um, adhesive I'm gonna put some glue down there on the bottom of that flower. And it's going to go through the hole down there. This is why you need to have the hole in there. Plus it does two things. It actually gives you dem uh, more, it doesn't look like, your flower lays better if you have the hole in there. So that's where we are so far. So actually right there you can stop. That's a little flower right there. Okay, so let's keep going. The next one is the one where you only cut one out. See that? Bet you're gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. Boom. Wrap it around. Put this petal on top of that petal. See that? And again, staple. So I put my stapler in there. Actually, I find it easier to put the small end to the center of the flower and staple. Just like we did last time, we need to make that hole again. So I'm just take the back of it and I cut out a hole. So now I have a hole, see that? Hold down your ends. Now at this point, um, when you're doing these little end parts right here, this is where you could add more glitter if you wanted to. You could actually at this point put some glue on here and put some glitter on there before you put it all together. Now this is going to go inside that hole, but we need adhesive. So throw some adhesive down there on the bottom, put that into the hole, and poof, look at that flower growing. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, one more time. 
This is the last one we have here. This is the one where we cut that petal in half. See that? So we're going to take the one that's a full petal and you're going to lay it on top of the half petal. And you're going to staple that, adhere it to whatever you want to do. Yep. Should have been a little tighter, but that's okay. Again, we have to cut that hole in the back. And kind of just, you know, force it to cut. <laughs> there we go. Again, that's not going to show, so don't worry about any of that. Okay, this, well, again, fold down those ends, those petals, make them look lifelike, make them look like they're alive. Put all this down in there, again, adhering it down in there, and look at that. Isn't that an absolute, beautifully perfect flower? So now you just go and make yourself a whole bouquet of beautiful flowers using nothing but the robin's nest papers and the beautiful, amazing dew drops. Or you can use your teardrops. So there's my little bouquet that I've been working on. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for stopping by.